Magandang araw mga mahal kong mga kaibigan, binabati ko kayo ng magandang araw, oras at gabi saan man kayong dako ng mundo. Nagagalak po akong ibahagi ang adventure ko sa araw na ito. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito pakisuyo na pindutin ang bell icon para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos ko po. Pakisuyong pindutin ang thumbs up at maari din natin i-share at magkomento tungkol sa video kung magustuhan nyo po. Nagagalak ako dahil sa walang katapusang pagsuporta at pagtangkilik ninyo sa mga videos ko. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. I love you all. Thank you all my dear friends and relatives and loved ones for all your unending love and support. You built my confidence and make me truly believe in myself. You never doubt me and are always encouraging. It means so much to me. I am so grateful and happy beyond words that all I can say is, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all my dear friends for helping me grow and being part in my journey. I love you all. Generally, cacti are flowering plants. That means that every cactus will bloom at the some point in their life. For most species, blooming starts when they reach maturity. Some species won't bloom even when mature unless they have perfect light and water conditions, or even fertilization. Thus is specifically true for potted cacti. Yes, when cacti are usually grown in containers, those plants can survive in almost any USDA zone it potted. That give an opportunity to place them on perfect condition and take proper care for them through all seasons. Most cacti nerd sunlight to stay healthy, so make sure your plants get at least 4 hours of morning sunlight a day. This way they won't get sunburned from the direct light. Almost of the cacti species doesn't need that much water, but that also doesn't mean they should be neglected. Water your cacti during their growing season, which is mostly late spring to the early fall. To make sure you don't overwater them, allow the top inch or two if the soil to dry before next watering. Then give the just enough water until it starts coming out of the drainage holes. You shouldn't let the water remain in the pot saucers. The best soil combination for cacti is a well-drained soilless potting mix. Since cacti need fertilization in order to produce flowers, you should use some half-strength low-nitrogen high phosphorus formula to fertilize them monthly during their growing period. Make sure you pot on water and fertilization during the winter and place your cacti somewhere with the temperature not lower than 50 Fahrenheit and 10 centigrade Celsius. If you provide these conditions to your cacti, you'll be rewarded with some of the most beautiful flowers that exist. Every cactus blooms different flowers, and the range of colors and shapes is almost endless. If you grow some tall growing columnar cacti from seed, it'll often take them years before they bloom for the first time. In the other hand, if you root a branch from a mature plant that is already blooming, columnar cactus will keep blooming after it is separated from the mother plant's rooted. Some cacti have branches that won't root, so they have to be grown for seeds, which means 40 to 45 years of waiting for the first flower. Seguaro, Carnchia gigantic native to Arizona is that kind of cactus. Short columnar cacti with stem below 2 feet 60 cm tall will usually reach maturity and start to bloom within 5 years for germination. Hedgehog cacti, Echinocereus native to US and Mexico, make mounding clumps of many stems over time and blooms in summer with large pink or large flowers. Easter lily cactus, Echinopsis oxygona, produce big funnel funnel shaped flowers in white, pink, lavender, or red. Peanut Cactus Echinopsis Chimicereus is a cactus produced large flowers to its size. With stems up to 6 inches 15 cm long and covered with weak white spines. Peanut Cactus crawl on the ground blooms in spring, producing abundant bright orange flowers over 1 inch 2.5 cm wide. Brown Cacti are some of the most chloriferous cacti out there. They can usually bloom within 3 or 4 years after sprouting. Pincushion cacti, Mammillaria papi, are native to US and Mexico. 
may bloom star-shaped flowers in a ring around the top of the stem. These cacti best grow outdoors. They are around when young, but some can elongate the small columns through the years. Flowers are white, pink, lavender, red, yellow, and green.
Hello my dear friends. If you are new in this channel, please subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you all for your part in my journey.